Peace and love family. So I am sitting here in the Detroit airport and I met a really, really nice um, elderly gentleman downstairs. He was teaching me or well, showing me how to get to the B gate, okay? Um, so he asked me where I was coming from. I told him I was coming from New Orleans and he asked me if I enjoyed it. And I said, yes, it was amazing. And he was just like, oh, you know, I went to New Orleans and I ain't going back to that place, man. They got too much voodoo shit going on down there. And, you know, like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mess with that shit. So I was just like, really? Have you ever read anything about voodoo? Have you ever, like, studied anything? Do you know anybody that actually practices the religion? He's like, oh, nah, nah, but they be over there drinking blood. And, you know, there's his American accent. You know, they be over there doing this and doing that. And, like, it's really sad how confidently ignorant some people are. And they were like, he was legit hearing me, but arguing with me about something that he had absolutely no knowledge on the only knowledge that he had was what he was taught um on tv and maybe a couple things that he saw with his eyes and even when you see things if you you could see anything but if you see something and you don't see it with a level of understanding and ask the right questions then what are you really looking at you're looking at something from a very ignorant standpoint right um, so we got into it and, you know, we were talking about um, the good and the bad being and everything. So yeah, in the, the whole culture of voodoo, there are people that, you know, um, will work obia on you and, and, and curse you and do things like that. But on that flip side, there are many Christians, <laughs> crusades that kill the millions of people, right? So, um... It's in everything. There's good and bad in everything. It's really, it's really how you look at it and what you choose to draw upon it when you delve into it. So, you know, I'm not gonna get into everything that we spoke about, but you know, we left with with a smile on on, on each other's faces. He told me, God bless me. I told him, let me the ancestors and the gods and goddesses bless him. And we both laughed and and walked away. He showed me where I needed to be. You know, um, and it was a beautiful conversation. It's just, um, yeah, I just find it very interesting how confidently ignorant some people can be listen if you don't take the time to read and understand something then i'm not saying not to talk about it but ask questions and be open to gain insight and have you know a new perspective and a new understanding of what it is that you thought you understood but you really don't because you never really delved into it Vudan is a beautiful religion and before I could say that, I actually bought a book about voodoo so I can understand it for myself. I started, you know, watching YouTube documentaries. I started to connect with people that actually practice their religion in Benin, right? So just like you got to know for yourself, you if you sit down, you let TV teach you, you will be one dumbass son of a bitch. That's all I can say, okay? So just just know what you're doing. Know what you're doing. You know, study. Know for yourself and don't let nobody tell you nothing. Be open to, you know, understanding. Um, be open to knowledge, but always do your own research. And before you judge something, know something. Know it. Alright? Like, really know it. Peace and love.